Hey, Lightroom guy, D.A. Wagner here. You're probably watching this video because when you tried to import raw photos from your brand new camera, Lightroom says, preview, unavailable for this file. And maybe you go ahead and import anyway. And Lightroom goes through the motion of importing but then a dialog pops up with a list of your unimported photos that says, the files cannot be opened by Lightroom. It doesn't matter which version of Lightroom you're using, the Adobe DNG Converter may be your solution. It's available for both Mac and PC. And this is how you can modify photos to the universal DNG format that Lightroom can see. So let's get started, and I'll show you exactly how easy this process is. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new folder on our desktop. Let's give it a name and remember the name and where it is because we're going to refer back to this later. The next thing we're going to do is connect your memory card to your computer with an external memory card reader or with your camera and locate the photos on the memory card. Copy these photos to the folder that you created on your desktop for now. Next is downloading the Adobe DNG Converter. If you happen to already have the Adobe DNG Converter, download this anyway. This is updated frequently with new camera raw data. The easiest way to locate the Adobe DNG Converter download is to do a Google search for Adobe DNG Converter Download. Look for the Adobe DNG Converter. Adobe Help Center. This is the result you want to select. Scroll down to the Adobe DNG Converter. Choose Mac or Windows. Select the Download button and then the second Download button. Install and open the Adobe DNG Converter, which will be located in your Applications folder. And number one in the Adobe DNG Converter is to select the images to convert. This will be the folder that has the images on your desktop from your memory card. Step number two in the Adobe DNG Converter process is to select a location where you're going to save your converted photos. So in this pull-down menu where it says Save in Same Location, Choose Save in New Location, and this will open up a window where you can navigate over to your Lightroom Master Library. And you're going to create a new folder here, and give it a title, and create this, select it, and remember where this is because we're going to use this folder to import our images into Lightroom shortly. And the last step here is actually to do nothing. You should not need to change the document name for the name of your converted images. If it doesn't say document name, select any of these three. As long as you keep the name of the files as they came out of your camera, you're in good shape. And now we're ready to convert our photos into DNGs. Here's the process, it's counting down and you can see the files are being converted. And when it's completed, it will say successful and you can click OK. And then you can quit the Adobe DNG Converter. And now for the last part. In the Lightroom library, you're going to go ahead and click the Import button to bring you to the Import dialog. And here's where you will navigate to that folder you created to export your converted photos to. And now Lightroom sees these images because they're in the universal DNG format. They're no longer in that proprietary camera raw format. And the part here that you want to make sure is not to copy these photos because you've already got them in your library where you want them. You're going to add the photos. So you select Add, and then when you're ready, you go ahead and import the photos. And Lightroom will add these photos to your Lightroom library instead of copying them. Because you created a folder within your Lightroom library, there was no need to copy. 
and here are your photographs in your converted photos folder. Now the process is simple. You copy the images from your memory card to a new folder. You convert those images to D and G to a folder within your Lightroom library, and then you add those photos to your library. So the next time you have a new camera and you can't import those photos into Lightroom, you now know what to do. The Adobe DNG Converter. And oh, by the way, I didn't mention this, but the DNG Converter is free. Well, that's it for now. This is Lightroom Guy, D.A. Wagner, and thanks for watching.